Considering the triumphs of teams like the Vegas Golden Knights and Seattle Kraken, the desire for NHL expansion is only natural. The abundant talent among players mitigates concerns about skill dilution, and numerous cities appear poised to warmly embrace an NHL franchise. While NHL Commissioner Gary Bettman stated in March that expansion isn't an immediate focus, he acknowledged the interest from multiple cities. During his annual press conference at the Stanley Cup Final, alongside Deputy Commissioner Bill Daly, they conveyed openness to potential expansion in the long term, sparking anticipation. This prompts speculation about which fortunate city will secure team number 33 and raises the question of others that might follow suit. Identifying cities with the necessary infrastructure, committed investors, and enthusiastic fan bases is crucial. While NHL expansion isn't imminent, the landscape seems poised for growth, ushering in exciting possibilities, but also demanding careful decisions ahead. The following are the long-term options. Quebec. Whenever the prospect of NHL expansion arises, fervent fans express a desire for Quebec City to regain its status as home to an NHL team. Since the Nordiques' relocation to Denver in 1995, a vast number of devoted hockey enthusiasts in Quebec have been without a local team to passionately support. The historic rivalry between the Nordiques and the Montreal Canadiens adds an extra layer of anticipation for a potential return, creating a recipe for success in Quebec City. Despite the enthusiastic fan base and the rich history associated with hockey in Quebec, the critical question remains, who will provide the necessary financial backing for the return of the Nordiques? Last year, provincial officials from Quebec engaged in discussions with the NHL to present their case for expansion. However, it seems that these conversations alone were not sufficient to propel the Nordiques back into the league. While Quebec possesses strong interest and a compelling hockey legacy, the ultimate factor influencing the decision is the availability of financial resources. Nickname idea. Quebec Nordiques, almost legally required at this point, Oklahoma City. In addition to Houston, another southwestern city that emerges as a potential host for an NHL team in the future is Oklahoma City. Fueled by its aviation-based economy, Oklahoma City offers both financial resources and a potential fan base, presenting enticing prospects for the NHL. Despite these promising attributes, the concept of an NHL team in Oklahoma City remains more of an aspirational idea. The absence of an established hockey market poses a challenge, as potential investors are not yet clamoring to support a team in the region. Furthermore, the city has not witnessed minor league hockey since 2015, and the Oklahoma City Barons experienced attendance issues. Similar to the approach taken in Vegas, Building and nurturing fandom will require intentional efforts and strategic planning to ensure long-term support for a team in the area. Nickname ideas, Oklahoma Eros, Oklahoma Oil Barons, OKC Outlaws, Toronto. The suggestion of adding a second Toronto club, proposed by the Athletics' Pierre Lebrun, stirred considerable discussion as a potential solution for NHL expansion. The idea centers around the notion that having two teams in Toronto could boost hockey-related revenues, a critical factor influencing salary caps and overall league success. This strategic move aims to significantly enhance the NHL's financial standing, allowing it to compete more effectively with other major sports leagues like the NBA and NFL. However, the proposal faces challenges, particularly in splitting the passionate and historic hockey market of Toronto between two teams. The loyalty of Leafs fans, known for their steadfast support, may present a significant hurdle, as introducing a new club would require it to vie for attention and support almost immediately. While other major cities like New York and Los Angeles have managed dual team scenarios, replicating this success in Toronto would be a demanding endeavor, considering the strong attachment Leafs fans have to their team. Now leave a like and subscribe, and let's get to the high potential partnerships. Salt Lake City. Utah emerges as a compelling contender for NHL expansion, with notable interest expressed by Ryan Smith, owner of the Utah Jazz, in providing financial support for this potential venture. 
The region has already developed a familiarity with hockey through the presence of the Ichiel Suda Grizzlies, establishing a foundation for the sport in the area. The prospect of Utah joining the NHL represents a significant boost for the Ligue, addressing a noticeable gap in the United States' western plains and potentially broadening the NHL's reach in the region. Despite the promising aspects, the vast expanse of the Western Plains poses both challenges and opportunities for the inclusion of Utah in the NHL. Salt Lake City, with a population of around 200,000 and approximately 1.26 million in the metropolitan area, serves as a focal point for this potential expansion. However, the limited presence of secondary cities in the region could pose challenges in cultivating a robust fan base. Building a consistent following may take time and strategic development, especially given the strong allegiances nearby major cities have to their respective teams, such as the Golden Knights and Avalanche. Nevertheless, the commitment of Ryan Smith and the existing hockey infrastructure with the Utah Grizzlies lay a foundation for the NHL's potential success in this untapped market. While challenges exist in establishing a solid fan base in Utah, the region's interest in hockey, coupled with the backing of a prominent sports figure like Ryan Smith, positions the state as a strong contender for NHL expansion. The league's potential inclusion of Utah not only addresses geographical gaps, but also presents an opportunity for strategic growth in an area where hockey has already begun to take root. Nickname Ideas Utah Copper Miners Salt Lake Mud Sharks, Utah Cougars, Houston. Houston has long been part of discussions surrounding potential NHL expansion, and its inclusion has been speculated even before Seattle became the league's 32nd team. As the fourth largest city in the United States, Houston boasts a history of hockey passion, nurtured by the presence of the AHL's Houston Eros and their predecessors in the World Hockey Association. The city's rich hockey heritage provides a solid foundation for the sport, and the prospect of a rivalry with the Dallas Stars could add an exciting dimension, potentially significantly boosting interest and engagement among fans. However, the correlation between population size and success in the hockey market is not always straightforward. The example of Phoenix, with the fifth largest American population and a substantial number of northern, hockey-loving retirees, highlights the challenges that can arise in sustaining a team despite favorable demographics. Success in a hockey market depends on various factors, including fan engagement, local infrastructure, and effective management. For Houston, serious expansion talks would require the emergence of a specific ownership group dedicated to the endeavor. While the city shows promise as a potential hockey market, expansion to Houston is not guaranteed at this stage and the involvement of committed ownership would be a key factor in moving the discussions forward. In conclusion, while Houston's status as the fourth largest U.S. city and its hockey history make it an intriguing candidate for NHL expansion, the challenges faced by other large markets, such as Phoenix, underscore the need for careful consideration. The presence of a passionate fan base and a committed ownership group will be essential for Houston to solidify its position as a viable and successful NHL expansion city. Nickname ideas. Houston Roughnecks, Houston Moonmen, Houston Ranchers, Houston Eros, Atlanta. Atlanta's hockey history has been a tale of missed opportunities and past mismanagement. With two previous NHL teams, the Atlanta Flames and the Atlanta Thrashers, relocating to become the Calgary Flames and the Winnipeg Jets, respectively. Despite these setbacks, there is optimism that a third attempt could prove successful for Atlanta, given its robust economy and substantial regional population. However, learning from past mistakes is crucial for establishing a lasting presence in Georgia as a hockey market. One pivotal lesson from the city's hockey past is the significance of arena placement Previous challenges, such as traffic issues deterring fans from attending Thrasher's games, underscore the importance of strategic location for a successful return to the NHL. While having an arena capable of supporting ice in the Deep South is essential, its placement is paramount to drawing the maximum number of fans. With sufficient investment and a mindful approach, 
Atlanta has the potential to rejoin the NHL ranks and thrive as a hockey hub. Recognizing the evolving landscape, Deputy Commissioner Bill Daly has emphasized the need to explore better options for arena locations that facilitate strong support for hockey in the city. This acknowledgement reflects a commitment to addressing past shortcomings and creating a more favorable environment for a new Atlanta team. By carefully considering lessons from history and implementing strategic improvements, Atlanta could once again become a thriving and enduring presence in the world of professional hockey. Nicknames, Atlanta Thrashers. For more NHL content, click the video on the screen, but leave a like, subscribe, and let us know if your city is coming to NHL in the comments.